Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, our hard mode series. We jump straight back in. We are off to uh, tackle King of the Mountain. A little scout task, which we have to climb to the two highest peaks. I believe they're the two highest peaks on the map. There's no rush for this. It's not timed, so it's just about getting up there safely and successfully causing as little damage to our Land Rover as possible. Can be a little bit difficult to see Ooh, see the, the track through the trees at times. And working on our 24 hours per episode. It's just gone 8 o'clock. So we should be able to try and work through until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Doing quite well. Now I think this one is slightly more challenging than the next. Don't know what happened there. We had a little bit of a uh, game lag. Hope this all right. I thought we were going to crash. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have such a tickle in my throat today. I'm going to try and uh, resist it for a whole hour. Not going to be easy. In fact, one second. Hopefully that's got it. Such an irritation. It's making my eyes water. Probably means you'll just be fortunate and not have me talk so much this time round. Just be able to enjoy the game sounds. Ooh. That's our first peak. Oh, we've just got to try and turn ourselves around. There's no obvious shortcut here, I don't think, anyway. Our next peak is all the way over there. Yeah, I don't think there's an obvious shortcut for us. Not one that we want to risk on hard mode, anyway. We might even go low gear plus. Just have a little bit more control on the way down. Ooh. Maybe a little bit more control on the way down. There are some parts where you can... Uh, maybe risk... Here, we drop down into low, low. There we are.
I don't think that's one. No, we'll we'll safely go around. I think here. Maybe we can drop down this one. I do apologise, I want to have to just go through the edit and try and catch all my coughs and, <laughs> and cut them out because I just can't stop today. So, first peak hit. Let's go find our second one. Enjoy a nice drive through the mountains. So, on today's tasks... Once we've done King of the Hill, we have, I think, one or two more upgrades to try and collect. We definitely have, I think, three outposts we can get today. I think one of them are going to be uh, right near the end. We'll probably grab that with a, a larger truck because it's deep in the swamps and I'm not certain that we'll be able to get to it with our scout as it is at the moment. So we want to take this left. But before we start our ascent, I will just check on our fuel as well. Aha, good call. Probably run that fuel halfway up. And this will be another one where we'll have a few little areas like here where we'll be able to s slide down on the way down and make it a little easier for us. If we weren't running hard mode, we'd have a, a few adventurous trips up the side, but at this point in time, the risk is just too much. Too much. Nice and steady. We're losing our back wheel there. Perhaps we should see if the diff will take. Beautiful stuff. So that's uh, 2,800 and 160 XP. And now uh, we get to get, have a lovely view of the map. Now, from here... Is there somewhere that we can roll down to? I think we'll uh, just take the safe route.
So here we'll just low gear it. It's not a lot, but it's a, it's a little off that corner. Those upgrades we put on last time out already paying off in the mud. So next we're gonna head round to our left. This might not be a wise choice. We probably should have gone right, but let's have a little look, shall we? We are scouting after all. Ah, that's where I want to go. Again, I do, do apologise. My throat and my voice was absolutely fine before I sat down to record. And as is with SnowRunner, it auto saves continuously, so there's no like scrap of it. We've now got to do the full day to get things done. I say I'll just be making myself extra work in editing. Nice thick. Here we are out on the track. So if we head this way, this should take us onto one of the roads. We will just get rid of this. Because we don't need that. Let's have a quick glance at the map while we're here. We are over here. So we're going to come down along this road. We'll come up. We'll hit this lookout point, hopefully. And then we'll make our way over and try and find that one. Sorry, I'm going to lose my voice. I believe we want to go left here, and there should be two forks when we go right versus gas. I may have took, taken an early route. We want to be up there, don't we? 
getting lost. I told you I'd get lost. That's perfectly fine. We can kill with getting lost. We can trigger this though while we're here. That means now when we get the parts we want, we can soon get up there. So there's the lookout tower. I think we have a path here. Nope. That's not the lookout tower, that's why. Confusing pylons. Ah, I know what we can do down here. Down here, we have an upgrade to collect. There we are, and this is for many trucks, including our Fleet Star, so that'll be a handy one. I think we just dived straight into our old track there, that's the problem. That's the, the lookout tower I'm trying to hit. But I keep seeing to be missing by a mile. Just be a fork in the road. Which I swear is what we took.
I obviously took a different fork in the road. To you on, shall we? Oh, so our next is this way. Keep getting myself all turned about. That is down towards the logs, isn't it? Which I guess we could... We could take that route, actually, yeah. Let's do that. There'll be a path just the other side of the logging camp. And uh, we'll be able to sort ourselves out from there. Are we getting short of fuel again? We could uh, do a little... Lovely job. We were supposed to be methodical and planned out, but this irritation and annoyance in my throat was just so distracting at the minute. So we next want to go... Right? Yeah. Up to that. some lights on. I feel like we've lost way too much of today already. I'll be really annoyed if I'm coming down with something because I want to record these daily to put them out daily. Just have a little drink to uh, try and ease those things. Right now, over here there is a challenge, a trial. Entertaining the workers. We've not triggered it yet, so it's not up. But I think we'll come back and try that once again. Once the scout is a little bit more spicy. We'll want a little bit more ground clearance. And we'll probably want a little bit more power. So, what we need to do is make our way back to where... The riverboat houses. There's a lookout tower there. 
we'll uh, top up the fuel along the way. And then from there, we'll most likely make our first visit into the dam. And we'll go and try and grab the, uh, the CK from there. And see if we can hit one or two outposts or lookout towers there if we have the time. Now we've not opened up any roads so we need to make sure we find the right route back as well. I think we've got the downed bridge along here, haven't we? Pretty certain of that. I think there's a track before we get to it, or we can at least got there's a little stream or something, I think. should be cut in there. Would that make more sense, do you think? Cut in that one? Again, I might be lost. I'm sure when we get to the bridge there's a little stream or a track or something. Oh, we're not anywhere near it. I'm miles out. Ignore me. We're going to go through the southern route. This is where we're going. Got a diff on for this. This bit of track here can be a right pain in the backside. With a small scout, you're right. You come down over a truck, and one of those wheels always, always goes off the edge. And this is what I mean by I'm not always going to be the most economical and planned out route planner. Because if I thought, oh, well, we're going to come back through here after doing this, then we could have picked up that upgrade from earlier. Now. Stay out of the marsh, but not in the mud on our right.
pinch some more fuel. cleared this yet so we need to go around it and as we do we can uh, drive into its trigger it'll be marked up for us and we'll know what we need to bring over to sort it out we know what we need we need metal beams and cement but we have to trigger it first Again, being careful with the barriers not to damage the Land Rover. We'll also trigger Motel Woes so that we can pick up their trailer. Now that we've been out and about sort of through the area where these are going to spawn we'll put missing machinery on so there'll be four blocks or four crates of uh, machinery parts for us to pick up at some point a trailer with bricks and parts on as well And here we have drainage in which we need to hit 
hit the location of three different pumps. The scout might be able to do it in its current condition, but I'd, I'd still prefer to come back maybe raised a little bit more and with a little bit more power. Another lookout point overlooking the town. If we have a quick look, you'll see all we have left now. We've still got this one. I've driven past it three times and haven't picked it up. Is this one here. I forget this one because in normal mode, that's one you do as part of the tutorial, so it's sort of picked off. I forget this. It needs to be done on hard mode. Let's get across here. We'll catch that one on our way back through after. We should be able to get through. We don't need the winch. And this is why I don't really want to do drainage yet. Because I think we'd be going at that pace the whole time. Whereas once we've got a little bit more, a bit more oomph and capabilities in our scout, we'll be able to uh, get in there a lot easier. Yeah, but no, we've collected many of the upgrades for the CK. We could even jump in the CK and, and do it with that if it's up to the task. We've got a few things we want to do now on on this map uh, logistics wise setting up some tankers moving our trucks about so that we've got fuel where we want fuel and then we'll be able to tackle clearing some of the roadblocks but first we're going to get some Things done here on Smithville Dam. First thing is just going to shoot up to uh, acknowledge the garage. Get some lights on. We'll have to be quite tactful with our route around because there are a lot. Of not a lot of blocks, but some well-placed blocks with the bridge out. There's uh, a rock fall right next to our garage, sort of preventing us to, uh, or from venturing further west into the map. There are other routes to get there. This is our garage. So what we're going to do next is to go off and find the CK-1500. And hopefully grab a couple of upgrades as well. If we want to head west in the map, we can go that way. Gas yeah, station. And a fuel pickup point. 
So these guys want us to go and pick up a trailer. That's a little scout fuel trailer, so we may do that while we're here this time round. Not this particular episode, but over the next episode or two while we're here. Now, if we are very careful here... Which is quite a rarity for me. Especially in the dark, but we're going to get our nose straight. Slowly make our way down here. Because the actual tracked route is just so boggy. And quite a challenge. Even for a durable scout. As if we're nice and careful. Should be able to just ease our way down here. Too much beans. And just along here, we have another upgrade. Now, when we venture on to just one or two maps elsewhere. You'll find that I do not know where all these upgrades and stuff are, and we will have to hit the watchtowers first. And while we have the slight benefit of knowing Michigan reasonably well, I thought it did get lost earlier, we'll make the most of it. So we've got an engageable, and this is for the Chevy. So if we keep the Chevy, again, we've got new parts to put on it. Now you can just about force your way up some of these hills, but we're going to take the track around. If this fallen tree is going to play ball with us. It'll break eventually. for fuel, we will again refuel. I'll take it from the camel. There we are. But you can take that as a route across right over to the other island as well. To wish. We don't need to do that at the minute. We are heading back up. and patient. Not my greatest virtue. <laughs> I 
That's why this is such a challenge for me. I'm a throttle down, just also up there type of guy. And in this series, we have to take it easy. We have to be patient. Slow, small, slow, gentle movements when you get stuck. Can't avoid all the little rocky outcrops as they appear. And here we have our Chevy CK1500. And this is ours to keep. Nothing to do. Pull it alongside it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, because it does have a broken fuel tank, We have a hundred. So we could fix that. We're going to. Yeah, we're going to go with the engine. And put our last little bit in the gearbox. Because the gearbox is. Well, kaputt. And it'll keep popping out of gear. Hopefully now it won't pop out of gear quite so much. And then if we refuel... Our Chevy. Just like that. And then we change trucks. There we are. Now we can try and get this. That's a stump already. Good start. Try and get this back to the garage. This route is horrid. Like I said, that's why we took the bottom route to get here plus it had the upgrade on it have to be careful not to flip ourselves now and we do have this uh, rock ball here as well that's sort of blocking our way Traction. There we are. I'll activate it. One of those unbreakable branches again. All it is is the branch on the bottom of that spruce sitting in the flatbed. That's what's caused this trouble. we're through <laughs> the, always always been an annoyance ever <laughs> since day one you let these things slide though like once you know what the problem is you can try and avoid it but when you get stuck in the trees it's hard to see where they are Just don't want to waste too much time on them because that's wasting fuel on it. Now we 
it should be a pretty smooth trip back to the garage now. He says. So let's just take that branch in the middle. All's good. guess myself then, but this is the left we want. And it looks like we'll be at the garage just in time to call it a day. fully repair I'm not sure so let's have a little look what we can do custom wise so we've got the big engine for it but that is a gas guzzler so the one that we really want is the uh, HET 6 valve 5 litre gearbox we'd have a snow runner gearbox for it if we if we use this that'll be what we're going to put in it I think we will. We'll put that in there now, actually, and we'll sell that. This is free, so we'll sell that. That makes sense. We've got the race suspension, so we'll sell that. We'll come back to tyres later. Winch, we'll leave. Uh, we've got the engageable diff, so we can sell that. So that's not bad. By doing that, we've actually given ourselves a total of eight grand now. It just if we if we do decide we're going to use it, we have to put some different tires on them and possibly a snorkel. Now, if I retain that, no, we'll leave it there. If we want to take it back, we can we can drive it across. So. We'll jump back to our landy because it is now morning and that'll be it for another day so we got a few challenges done I, I got a little bit lost we took out the lookout towers and we've got ourselves another truck next time out we'll be heading out onto the smithfield dam we'll go down south we'll try and hit the two lookout towers on the next little island in front of us i believe there's a collectible on there as well we can get that and i think there is a scout challenge on there that we'd possibly be able to do and then we'll try and head further across maybe we'll probably not do the swamp we'll head back up north and hit the third lookout tower um this up that way but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this one if you have you know what to do big fat thumbs up down below comments and feedback subscribe if you're new turn your bell notification on and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye